Under the vast silence of space, something ancient stirs. NASA scientists have detected an interstellar comet, behaving in ways no one expected. Its path is shifting, its luminous core flickering with bursts of inexplicable energy. At first, it seemed like a routine observation, just another cold traveler passing briefly through the solar system before vanishing again into the black. But this one, this one is different. As its trajectory changed and its brilliance flared unpredictably, murmurs began to spread through observatories worldwide. Could it be slowing down? Could it be preparing for something no comet has ever done before? Before we go deeper into this mystery, make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned, because what you're about to discover might change how you see the cosmos forever. Unlike past flybys, the data this time was unusual. Numbers that should have been stable fluctuated. Patterns that once obeyed cosmic law began to twist, as if something, someone, were guiding it. 3i, as scientists soon called it, was not just passing through. Something had changed. It was as if the universe itself had decided to send us a message hidden in the tail of a burning traveller. On the quiet evening of July the 1st, 2025, far from the noise of cities and the chatter of human life, a small telescope in Hawaii blinked to life. The network known as the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, caught a faint moving light. Its motion was wrong, too fast, too angular, too strange. It did not belong to the solar system. What had first appeared as a dot on a screen would soon become the third confirmed interstellar object ever observed by humankind. The astronomers working that night had no idea they were witnessing the beginning of one of the most mysterious discoveries in modern science. Archival sky images were immediately re-examined. The researchers combed through years of stored data, searching for earlier traces of the object. They found them, tiny, almost invisible smudges of light scattered across time, proof that this traveler had been inbound for decades, perhaps longer. Hidden in plain sight, it had crossed the distant boundaries of the planetary zone without detection until now. The object was named 3i, short for third interstellar, a designation that placed it among the rarest of the rare. After 1i Umuamua in 2017 and 2i Borisov in 2019, the I stood for interstellar, a quiet badge of origin from beyond. Almost immediately, astronomers realized what they were looking at. Its orbit wasn't an orbit at all. 3i's trajectory was hyperbolic. Its path curved outward, not inward, a route that revealed it was never bound to our sun. It wasn't one of us. It was passing through, indifferent to gravity's grip at a speed of nearly 26 kilometers per second. Every interstellar object is a message in a bottle, one NASA scientist said. 3i is the third note we've found, written in the cold language of the stars. Speculations spread like wildfire. Forums lit up. Media headlines exaggerated every whisper and conspiracies began to breed. Was it heading toward Earth? Was it slowing down for a reason? The truth, however, was more unsettling than any rumor. The intrigue wasn't in where it was going. It was in where it had come from. Unlike comets and asteroids that orbit our sun like obedient satellites, 3i moved differently, as if it had its own will. It entered our solar system like a stone skipping across a pond, each gravitational nudge altering its motion slightly but never catching it. Its eccentricity, a measure of how much its orbit deviated from circular, was greater than one, an unmistakable sign that it was unbound. That number alone made it a cosmic outsider. Even its speed was unnatural. 3i hurtled through the void twice as fast as the average solar system object. Such velocity cannot be borne here. It hinted at a violent past, a gravitational slingshot from another star system, perhaps a catastrophic collision, or a near escape from the pull of a giant planet. Somewhere long ago, something had hurled it outward into the dark. It had traveled across light years of emptiness to arrive here, silent and cold, bearing secrets from the birth of other suns. Its path, when traced backward, pointed toward the constellation Sagittarius, near the dense heart of our galaxy, the galactic bulge, a place where stars are born and die in quick succession. Though the direction wasn't precise, it suggested that this object might have wandered for millions, maybe billions of years before brushing against our cosmic neighborhood. It shared traits with both of its predecessors. Like Umwamwa, it defied simple explanation. Like Borisov, it possessed a coma, a faint halo of gas and dust. 
but even that was peculiar. Its coma formed far from the sun, at distances where no other comet should awaken. Was it richer in volatile compounds, or was something else driving the activity? The deeper we look, said a lead astronomer at the European Space Agency, the more it tells us that other planetary systems might be eerily similar to ours. That question, what secrets it carried, haunted every lab, every telescope, every data stream. Inside its dust, frozen gases and ancient ice, could there be traces of material from another star's cradle? Could it predate our sun entirely, a fragment of something older than our own world? NASA scientists began estimating its size using the Hubble Space Telescope. They calculated an upper limit of about 5.6 kilometers, half the width of Manhattan, but the faintness of its glow suggested it might be smaller. Its surface was dark, carbon-rich, a mirror of the ancient material that once floated in interstellar clouds before the birth of solar systems. Then came something no one expected. Long before 3 I neared the sun, when it was still beyond Jupiter's orbit, it began to brighten. It formed a faint coma, a sign of activity usually triggered by sunlight much closer to the star. This early outgassing hinted that the comet carried volatile compounds such as carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, substances that vaporize at low temperatures. The implication was chilling. This object was different even on a chemical level. Its tail defied logic. Most comet tails stretch directly away from the sun, shaped by the pressure of solar radiation. But Threeponai's tail was misaligned, pointing at strange angles as if responding to unseen forces. Perhaps it was due to its irregular spin, or jets of gas erupting from hidden vents deep within. Spectroscopic analysis revealed traces of carbon monoxide, water vapor, and even methanol, but in unusual ratios, unlike any known solar system comet. Scientists whispered of cosmic rays, of chemical changes induced by eons adrift between the stars. One researcher called it a fossil of the galaxy. The phrase stuck. The deeper they looked, the older it seemed. Some argued it might contain material older than the sun itself, a fragment from before our solar system's birth. That realization transformed it from a mere comet into a relic, a frozen time capsule carrying whispers of creation. Every analysis added to the mystery rather than resolving it. The numbers refused to settle, as if the object resisted being understood. As October 2025 arrived, three pon I swept through the inner solar system. Its closest approach to the sun, its perihelion, was predicted for October 30th, about 210 million kilometers away. To cosmic eyes, that's close. To human eyes, it's unfathomable. Its nearest pass to Earth would be roughly 270 million kilometers, safe, yet close enough for every telescope on Earth to turn its gaze toward it. The object's path took it near Mars and Jupiter, a rare chance for robotic observers to catch a glimpse. The Mars Express and ExoMars orbiters were retasked to scan its faint glow, while the JUICE spacecraft beyond Jupiter prepared to capture distant images during its voyage. For a brief period, 3I disappeared behind the sun, invisible from Earth, a moment of eerie silence when the universe seemed to hold its breath. When it emerged, it was brighter, sharper, and moving faster than before. By early 2026, it would be gone, on its way out of the solar system, never to return. It's a cosmic tourist, said one mission lead. It came fast, it'll leave fast, and we'll never see it again. But before it vanished, it was determined to leave behind questions that no one could fully answer. Every major telescope on Earth and in orbit tracked it relentlessly. The very large telescope, Hubble, and the James Webb Space Telescope joined forces, capturing images and spectra that would take years to interpret. Webb's infrared eyes detected exotic gases, methane, carbon dioxide, formaldehyde, all interacting in ways never before recorded. From the ground, scientists fought through weather, moonlight, and shifting coordinates to keep their instruments locked on target. Interstellar objects, one joked, don't wait for good weather. As data poured in, another story began to unfold, not of science, but of speculation. Online theories multiplied. Some claimed the comet had changed course, others that it was slowing deliberately. A few even suggested it wasn't a comet at all, but a craft something intelligent, perhaps observing us in return. The echoes of Umwam were resurfaced, the old debate about alien technology reignited. Harvard's Avi Loeb had once suggested Umwamua might be artificial, 
a solar sail from another civilization. Now the question hung again, could 3i be something more? NASA and ESA moved quickly to calm the storm. The object's path was stable, they confirmed. Its behavior, while strange, matched natural cometary physics. There was no sign of control, no artificial signal, no deviation. Yet deep down, even the scientists couldn't deny the feeling. The sense that something about this object was too perfect, too deliberate.